How'd you get your start in football? Do you remember, or was it just you, you went out for a practice, or what was it that you said, Mom, Dad, hey, I want to play, try football? I don't remember exactly, but I do remember being younger and really just obsessing over the game. I'm not sure exactly why. My dad and my uncle played, but it's not like they were like putting us in jerseys when we were little and stuff like that. So I do remember just always loved, I loved watching on TV all the time and I always loved playing catch like in the cul-de-sac with my neighbors. And then um, by the time I was in third grade, I think I was begging my parents to play. So they, they threw me in flag football. And that's when, when it all started. When did you know that you were pretty good at, at the game? Was I'd, it pretty early? Yeah. So when I started playing flag football after the first year, they, we always do like a community draft. And after the, my first year playing, the next year I, was, I got drafted first. That's how I, that's what I knew, that I was all right. Wide receiver. It's a it's highlight position. Quarterback, running back. Did you play around with those, or how did you get settled on wide receiver? I didn't play receiver until my freshman year of high school. I was a running back all up until my uh, in, in eighth grade. I was my last year playing running back. And then I kind of was talking to one of my coaches, and he was like, you know, you're probably not going to play running back in high school. And I was like, hey, why not? And he's like, uh, you're, you're definitely more size towards a wide receiver. So I just kind of took his advice and did. And what moved up you, there. Yeah. Uh, what was it that drew you to Eastern? Um, there's a few things. Uh, first, um, like many people probably say, it was uh, the coaching staff and uh, more importantly, Cook Creighton, who really showed a real true interest in me and uh, a genuine genuine want for me so um, I was always told go where you wanted so that's the main reason I uh, chose Eastern. Northeast Ohio certainly and Ohio in general a hotbed for football I mean what makes Ohio football special? Yeah that's an interesting question because compared to some of the other states especially you know like the Florida's Georgia's California's all the Texas all the huge states that are always uh, up there for the best football uh, high school football in the country. Ohio's right right in that mix every year. And uh, I think one of the reasons is just, I don't know, I think people from Ohio are just built a little tougher. Um, maybe I'm just being biased, but um, proof's in the pudding. I think a lot of tough football players, and a lot of tough people come out of Ohio. And um, I think it goes to show. I know the ultimate goal is still a MAC championship and a, and a bowl championship as well. but. Looking back at your career and, and your time here, what would you say one of your prouder moments has been here at Eastern? A proud moment for me was definitely uh, running out of the tunnel in the uh, Quick Lane Bowl in 2019 and seeing some 30,000 Eastern fans there. I think that was just a moment that I uh, think back on when I, uh, just to feel grateful and to feel like, I just made me feel really happy like that many people were there for us. and. Uh, supporting us, so I think that's it. How that's have it. you seen the culture around here change? Um, I've seen it change a lot. I mean, the amount of professors and uh, students um, here that have become more um, in tune with Eastern football, like asking questions in class or um, to asking when their next game is and stuff like that has, has definitely went up, uh, obviously. Since COVID, a lot of stuff's been online, mm -hmm. so it hasn't been so, uh, so pre prevalent. But um, you've also seen it in the student section, I think. Uh, like last year, our op home opener was was awesome. And there's a picture of it that Coach Creighton had tweeted out after the game. And I mean, you just go look back at that and you just see how much it has changed and how, how much better it's getting. Away from football, what do you enjoy doing? Outside of football, I like golfing a lot. So... In the summer, I, I probably got out about three, four times a week. Taylor and said he's a five handicap. Where, where are you at? I mean, I'm nowhere near Taylor. I just started about a year and a half ago. So I, I'm probably like a 16 or 17 right now. So not quite on Taylor's level. He's still giving me strokes, but I'll, I'm going to surpass him in a couple of years without a doubt. I was say, have, have you gone head to head with him yet? Oh, yeah. We've played a few times. Eagle Crest or where yeah, are we going? Mostly okay. Eagle Crest. Good uh, matches. Yeah. Uh, if I was to ask one of your teammates to describe you in a word or two, what would you hope they would say and why? Um, uh, first, I'd hope they'd mention me um, a 
as a, an intelligent person. I think in football and outside of football, I pride myself on on trying to be uh, smart and gain as much knowledge as I can. Um, and also, I'd say, I mean, I guess, a, I don't know a good word to sum it into one word, but just a good dude, I guess. Um, I just want to be someone people can count on and uh, somebody that my parents would be proud of. Last year, you, of course, led the team in touchdowns. What are you hoping to, to springboard this year to for personal goals? Uh, I don't have any personal goals, I wouldn't say, as far as uh, statistics go. Um, the only goal I really have in mind on a personal level is just to uh, uh, be a first-team all-mac wide receiver. Uh, I'll get you out of here on this. Stackham, as a senior, you helped create this in the senior class. I mean, it, it's a really great idea and builds upon some of the other messages. What do you think and what does the, the, the phrase mean to you? To me, it means what we as a team have to do to, to get what we want. Um, everybody's seen it, everybody knows. What we haven't been able to do is stack good seasons on top of each other, improve on seasons, um, stack good games on top of each other. So that's what we have to do to, to get where we want to go, and I think we can do it.